All right, so we do build around deck submissions on here where people could submit a card or group of cards or ideas. Then if I say, okay, I think I can make something playable with that, I then take it and build the deck myself. This is a build around deck submission that's kind of a play on words. So this is Jund Carnage in that we have Carnage, Card, and Carnage Tyrant was the build around submission. So it was required me to play these these three cards together in this archetype. And then of course, if we're going to have Karn in here anyways, the four of, we slapped on in four copies of Treasure Map or better known as Jank Glue to kind of tie, tie the room together. We've got a range of other just kind of playable cards. I've got some Assassin's Trophies, some Contempt, some Rekindling Phoenixes, some Incubation Druid to smooth out some of our double colors in lots of directions. So let's go ahead and dive on into some matches here, shall we? Uh, it costs between three and six dollars in in-game currency to make a card foil if it has one. And for people that want to donate for me to foil cards, I was doing five dollar donations. I'll foil a card of your your choosing in the collection on stream. That's where I haven't spent my own dollar dues on everything. The wonderful people at home have given me lots of pretty jewelry with which to with which to have shinies. God, God bless him. And Durium, thanks for checking your Prime this way again. I appreciate that. Welcome back for the third month. Thanks for keeping me employed here. We haven't played with Rakdos sleeves in a minute. Ooh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent one. Looks like we're playing against Phoenixes. Seven Fat, thanks for the quarter of year. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Would I have kept that hand without Fresca's Contempt? Yeah, probably. Contempt's pretty good here to have against a bird. I have double bird. Don't shock me. 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 Explicitly asked you not to shock me, opponent. Rude. Rude. So, good chance we get some birds back this turn. If even if I miss on a land on top of my deck with the scry, I am not going to put a stop during my upkeep because I want to give myself the best possible chance to be able to cast a four mana spell next turn. Ideally, our opponent will fumble here a little bit and not be able to attack us for six this turn. Do I care about this Electromancer? I'm not sure that I do. Because I think, like, while the Electromancer, like, makes it easier for them to get their birds back, if I trophy the Electromancer, it's going to give them land number five, which means they probably get the birds back regardless. So I'd rather just contempt a bird this turn, I think. Please lava coil your Electromancer. Rats. Oh, don't tell me you drew a third bird. Whew. All right. So I'm going to end up at 15 here. I think I want a treasure map during my upkeep and try and dig my way to more lands or more uh, more goodies. I put a deck in the submission queue. I put a deck submission because the queue is looking a little empty. I do not actually care if you play the deck or not. I just wanted an excuse to give you some money. <laughs> Sounds good, dude light. I think I am going to have room for one or two more standard decks this season. 
Um, that is not particularly good here, right? Just looking for things that impact the board and one damage does not currently. I appreciate the support, dude. So, I think I'm trophying a phoenix this turn. Nah, that can't be right. Prob probably trophying Electromancer, right? Yeah. He's like, the phoenix, the phoenix, like, killing the phoenix is only, like, one more point of damage and the phoenix comes back, so... Hopefully, we can find our way into another Contempt next turn. This matchup's probably not too terrible in three. I've got, uh, I've got some copies of Cry of the Canarium in the sideboard, which are pretty good here. In addition to my Contempts. Uh, lack of submissions, Brave. I did also increase the price to submit a legacy deck, which I'm sure de deterred some of them. So I've I've priced the formats based on how popular they are, basically. So standards 10, moderns 25, and legacy is 50. So I don't think I've had... I think I've only had like one or two legacy submissions since I pushed it to 50. Not need more carnage in my life. And to be to be fair, the higher price is to, dis to discourage them to a degree, because again, like it's just less popular than modern content. So even even all things considered, if I like all of them equally, it makes more sense to focus on more modern. Unfortunately, we are too low to just try and race with Karn, I think. So I think I need to dig for removal spells here. It's a Carnival. Uh, yeah, Chewie, it depends on what... It depends on what your definition of super budget is. But if you can get your hands on a place at a Force of Wills, I would highly recommend... Um, would highly recommend the Mono Blue Infect deck that I've played a few times. I think that deck's super reasonable. Carnival Carnage really showing... Really showing that it's worse than a shock in a lot of these matches. You can call me dude, bro, or that guy that keeps making Jeff play smothering time decks. Uh, we actually didn't play the Eldrazi deck today because, uh, Serum Powder's bugged on Magic Online. Holy gosh, Karn's gonna give me six? That's so good. You, you go, Karn. God, God bless you. Alright, the fact that they just hit Karn there for six means that if we find our way into a Contempt, we might actually be in this game still. Uh, no, I played, um, I played Grixis Hollow Flavor. When there's, when a card's bugged at the top of the queue, I just work my way down. So, Colorless, Colorless Eldrazi will, uh, will just stay at the top until they fix the moto bug. So, you know, could be, could be a couple of days, could be a year. Could be, could be five years. A, a figurative venture. Thanks for the four months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Uh, 
opponent wisened up. The fact that they gave me this instead of Carnage Tyrant probably means that, uh, probably means they have a Lava Coil. We had a, I thought we had a command. Maybe we didn't. There's a, there's a clip. It wasn't bugged this morning. It was bugged last week and they didn't, they haven't patched since. So I assume it's still bugged. London powder. That's it. London powders falling down, falling down, falling down. London powders falling down. Do, 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 do. We look to be very dead, very dead, very dead. Do, 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 Unfortunately, our carnivals are not very good here, so we're going to trim them. Cry sounds great. Moment of craving sounds fine. Trophies actually kind of mediocre here. I guess they have they have Drakes in their deck usually. Angrath's pretty medium here. I wonder if there's a matchup where I'm supposed to bring in Duress. Vraska's kind of medium. Yeah, I'll probably just bring in the last trophy. Seems fine. Phoenix, Phoenix, Karn, and Carnage Tyrant as closer seems like plenty. Hey, Cappy, thank you for the entire year of support. I really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for shipping your Bezo Bucks back this way again. Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. It's like not amazing, but it's fine. Yeah, I agree, Greg. I, I also think um, Duress, like, Duress is better against, like, the Drake's variation than the Phoenix variation, because the Phoenix variation tends to be more uh, cantrip focused, so their hand changes more often. Their, their cards have more redundancy, too. All right, well, that isn't our second red source, but it is at least a guaranteed fourth land for these contempts in this card. <laughs> Room roommates do make things cheaper. Hey, look, a distraction. Yikes. Alright, well I mean I guess I guess that's not those are lands that I don't have to draw for the next two turns. If they have if they have land Phoenix, just playing the Karn here is kinda bad. I guess they like floop a Phoenix into play. It's also not great for me. And the fact that they kept the card on top there makes me think this card is likely dead. They have like blue source plus Phoenix. They get to kill the card. Shock also kills Karn. Oh, we're just ignoring the big. Just ignoring the big dumb, okay? Wow, they kept a card on top and missed their fourth line drop. It's an interesting decision. Ooh! Cry me a river, baby. Cry me a river, baby. Dealer's choice. Two spells is cheating. Yep. I think I want to hold... I think I want to hold Contempt here rather than play Phoenix because if I jam Phoenix and they Lava Coil the Phoenix plus... Yikes! Gosh, that's rude. That is... That is incredibly rude, opponent. How... How is my Karn supposed to get Cry of the Canarium now? How is my card? I'm glad I I'm glad I boarded in the fourth assassin's trophy, I guess. I did I did bring in our fourth trophy. I don't think I can afford to keep taking love taps from these, from these electromancers. I wonder if this is the card. This could be the card, like, 
They kept a card on top, but miss, but missed their land drop. This could reasonably have been that card. Makes a lot of sense. It's a card that's like worth having despite missing a land. Big dumb dinos. Bum 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 bum. Say hello to my not so little friend. Arr. With with Kabraska's contempt, we might just like take him to three turn pound town here. It's like give him the business. Yeah, I agree. Spyglass is excellent. It's not the cry of the canarium I wanted for Christmas, but I'll do in a pinch. Fire up the engines, chat. We're going racing. So Phoenix, yep. If they ditch two birds here, we're going to be in trouble. Oh, sometimes they have three phoenixes and 20 cards, chat. Sometimes they have three phoenixes and 20 cards. Taking eight down to five here. Need to draw Assassin's Trophy or Cry of the Canarium. Eternal Virus, thank you for the three months. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. There's a good there's a good chance we're just dead here. Can't attack. Of course I can attack. How is attack with Tyrant dead on board? Oh, it's five? Yeah, whatever. I don't think it matters. It'll be okay. I was it's been a bad day for math. It's been a bad day for math. The Karn was spyglass for people for people asking. Pretty pretty high probability they had a removal spell and it didn't matter. Anyways, yeah, I don't I don't think it mattered. Your people are correct that uh, we were dead on board with that attack. Uh, I don't believe... Oh, uh, you know what? I probably should Incubation Druid there since I drew the drew the green stores. Yeah, that's probably a mistake. Yeah, the, over, the overlay doesn't show what's named. All right, well, we get a, we get a rematch here, which I, I feel good about. I feel like, on paper, our deck lines up really well into what their deck is doing. I feel like we got pretty unfortunate both of those games there.
yeah, I didn't want a Phoenix in the face of Lava Coil. Um, that contempt timing was bad too. I should let them choose what they're doing before I show them that I'm going to contempt their thing. It also wasn't guaranteed that I necessarily wanted to play a four mana card there and lose a treasure to do so. Part where they discard a second Phoenix and make me sad. This card is not good in this matchup, but I think it's better than Phoenix in the, into the face of a Lava Coil. Yeah, you can whisper me on Twitch, Hider. You can click on my name or something like that. Prototype in session. Thanks for the 23 months. Welcome back, bud. Make all sail for high and dry. Enjoy the Chipotle Brave Earth. Yeah, feeling pretty dead here, too. I agree with Rich's assessment. Like, the converted mana cost that we have going on over here is just not good. And this is a matchup where, like, Carnival Carnage, like, neither half of this card is very good in this matchup, which makes it awkward as well. Did they, did they find Lava Quill? They did. Yeah. No, if I had Cry in my main deck... We could be okay here, but without without a cry, we're probably just done for. Yeah, we hit Phoenix for a second matchup in a row. Which I agree is a little bit odd. That's not super popular in the format right now. But that's just like how anecdotal stuff goes. What matchups do you want Carnival Carnage for? I actually think in general, Carnival Carnage is pretty reasonable in the format. It's decent against... Um, it's decent against a lot of the aggressive decks because they have one toughness things. And the mid-range and control matchup, it's just two for ones by hitting them, so. However, against explicitly what this opponent is doing with the Drake stack, they tend to have a lot of extra cards in their hand. They want cards in their discard pile. And, um...
100% of our last two match metas, Phoenix got to adjust for that, right? Oh, oh, the anecdotes. Um, sure. I think I want to just keep scrying with treasure map. This is my bird. I got a couple of cries lined up here. Seems pretty reasonable for us. Their plan was radical IDing. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't uh, do that right away to try and find a shock to kill my incubation dread. Which they eventually did. This gives me my fifth land anyways. I have Carnage Tyrant as six drops, but... I think I'm fine bottoming that. Our deck's got a lot of lands in it. We don't need any colors at this point. Legacy burn on goldfish looks to be at $100. Is it worthwhile? Yeah, it's like, okay. For $100, does that like include Eidolons and stuff? I forget, forget how much Eidolons actually cost these days. I think I'm just going to fart this and try and attack them a couple of times here. This is pretty bad against shock, I guess, but it's like giving them the business here seems fine. I wanna, I wanna fart the incubation druid eventually, anyways. That way, it doesn't die to my own cry of the canarium. Teammate has a set of force of wills. Where can I find the mono blue infect list? Um, Blazing Sholintel, I think, is what I put it on my YouTube channel as. We played it a few times. It's a video we played a bunch of, like last year and the year before. Uh, anonymous with the $2 tip. Thanks for the support. Disdainful stroke. Okay. I guess that's what they were holding up last turn. And I guess we kind of knew they were holding something up here because they elected not to bring their Phoenix back into play. Really sweet that Chrysler Sweeper of choice. Bacon Bolt. Incubation Druid. Incubation Druid liked her bacon. Don't bacon her bolt or bolt her bacon. Looking for one of our four copies of Carnage Tyrant to windmill into play and close things out. Let's 
So, like, they have a bunch of cards here, but these are all jumpstart cards. Which means that, in reality, they they don't really get them ahead, right? Like, they cost them cards to do. Be Beacon Bolting the Bacon God will be on, will definitely be on, flav on point flavor-wise. Bye, birds. So long, you stupid pigeons. Yikes. So, wow, they took... They ditched a crackling drake there. Really need one of our big dumb dinos. Really want one of our four big dumb dinos. Yikes. So zero, zero trophies, zero dinos in our top, top third of our deck, unfortunately. thing is ulting here soon, right? Oh. Um, I don't think, I don't think a dino is going to beat the rail ult, right? Because, like, this is going to alter. So, like, if it's going to alt next turn and then they just cast enough things to kill me right off the bat. And the, the way this felt like they were pausing when I cast these cards, it feels like they might have an Agit here, too. So, like, our four copies of Assassin's Trophy probably aren't even live at this point. And we, get, we get two shots at a trophy and even that's probably not good enough. I needed, I needed this. I needed this one turn. One turn sooner. Yep. That, that ult's just going to put us dead. Tough beat. Tough beat. How are we doing, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everybody wherever you're at in the world. Thanks for dropping in here today. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. If you enjoy Constructed Magic, this is definitely one of the channels for you. I'm here 30, 40, sometimes even 50 hours a week playing a ton, ton of different decks. We change decks every 60 to 90 minutes, so we get a lot of variety in what we play here. As always, I'd like to give a shout-out to my wonderful subscribers. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their, their support. I'd also like to plug a couple of my sponsors here really quick. Cool Stuff, Inc., .com, buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles using promo code Jeff5. You can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Inkgaming.com will love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mousepads, binders, and bags with them. You can upload your own custom artwork or choose from the wide range of artwork that they already have on their website. Cardsphere.com will love to help you turn your cards into other cards or to other players. There's no haggling, and they just take a 1% fee off the top. And of course, I'd like to welcome everyone out there to Hook Landing. You know there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now, and I appreciate you choosing to spend part of your day here with us. If you're new to the stream and you like the different decks that we play or how I break down my gameplay while we're while we're playing, be sure to hit that follow button. Following the stream doesn't cost you anything. It lets you know when I go live and with what. I'm usually here five days a week, Monday through Friday, from about 8 a.m. Central Standard Time till about 3, 4, 5 o'clock, somewhere there in the afternoon. You always find my exact schedule on my website. Uh, uh, honestly, a ton of the Planeswalker voice lines are fantastic. I really hope they take the time to have 36 sets of awesome voice lines with these new walkers and don't skip out on some of them. Still, still in flux, Jason. I am I'm not running ads for Tempo Storm. I'm trying to figure out if that means I can still stay on Tempo Storm. Or if that's gonna be a deal breaker now. So my original contract with them didn't have didn't have anything about that in there. So trying to figure out if they're going to work around that for me or if that's going to be a deal breaker.
Uh, they wanted six out of 60 minutes to be ads. They wanted it to be 10%. I don't, I don't really want to run any ads manually. Like the little plug that I just did there that lasted a total about 60 seconds that I do every other hour or so, like those ads that I manually sell that scroll on the screen, they're, they're more natural. They're integrated with the stream. They're products that I actually get to use so I can like know I'm promoting good things. Yeah, I, I agree that it's gross. That's why it's why I'm not doing it. So like not only not only do do like the Twitch ads not integrate, but like they're annoying and they make the the value of like the ad space I sell manually worthless. So it's just a whole it's a whole mess. I don't have the contract in front of me, Niv, but I'm like pretty sure there was a clause in there that says that they can, they can terminate my contract at any point if they want to. That's, that's generally, that's generally how, how those contracts work. I think this hand is vaguely playable. Vaguely playable is a good description. It would be like good with an untapped land, right? We're on the draw, so let's just like keep... I don't know. I think if I hit none, if I hit yeah, contempt, get in the corner. Can can it be the end of April already, so I can have a foil contempt? Can April? Can April please be over, so I can have a foil Vraska's contempt? Almost, almost there. That's not quite next week. What's the requirement for full art contempt? You have to finish at plat four. So gold four and plat four are our promos. Oh, I think my opponent's timing out actually, so probably doesn't matter. I thought they came back, but I think you actually have to miss it twice. Yeah, the, the requirements for getting the pro the alt art, the promo arts are super reasonable. I think they picked good thresholds for those. At gold and plat. They're, they're like enough to make it feel like an accomplishment, but like not super insurmountable. How has this deck been so far? So far, it's been really bad against Blue Red Phoenix, which is what we've run into twice. A lot of a lot of our tools don't line up well there. Hopefully, hopefully we'll hit like some aggro or some mid ranger, some not Phoenix, and see how it goes. When did that happen? This is the first season that that's happening, Graystar. I believe there was a post on their forums or subreddit about it. But yeah, the end of the end of the April season, in addition to the packs, you get uh, the alt arts. I think I think they're actually listed in the seasonal rewards if you look in client too. I think I believe the the patch notes for the update they did on Friday. I believe included adding them in client. It's a little land heavy, but like we have all of our colors and like treasure maps good. It looked really strong against opponents timing out. Yep. I can... Let someone remind me to check the in-game rewards. Check in-game rewards. Let me write myself a note. So we can check and see. I, I believe the patch notes said they added it. Lebo! Six months of great content. Bump up a deck of your choosing. Thanks for the support, Lebo. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. It's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map. Yow, Lord! Thank you for the two months, the two months. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. You do have a training sword. Let, let the training commence. Are there any god cards you're excited for? Honestly, all of them look pretty sweet. I, I really think from a design perspective, this latest iteration of gods hit kind of perfectly on the this card is hard to kill but not impossible to kill like I, I like that they're not just indestructible is a great great thing jmm thanks for the six months i appreciate that welcome back so do i want to jam a second treasure map here or do i want to try and trophy this search i think regardless of what i do here i'm gonna get absorbed the upside to burning the trophy is that they don't get to use the mana this turn 
I think I want a treasure map here. I think taking the searcher off the table is pretty important, so I don't want this to get countered, ideally. Hey, Trist. Thanks for the biddy. The fact that they didn't absorb this is really good for us. Looking for just more payoffs. Out of here, cast down. This match is probably not too bad for us if I had to venture a guess. Love tap, baby love tap, baby baby love tap. Do 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 do. Resub so I could use sub only chat to ask for a timeout. <laughs> Thanks, JMM. All right, they have they have Tefer here, which is a little bit annoying. But I have I have Carney T, which maybe gives us a chance. Depends on how many Kaya's Wraths they have. I think I'm supposed to bottom that at this point. Am I supposed to burn two treasures to play Carnage Tyrant? I think I am. I think I am. It's a tough sell. They're through a quarter of their decks. So there's a good chance they have a Wrath here. Like if they don't have the Wrath, Carnage Tyrant gets to gobble up Tefri. Miss! 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 Sweet. All right. Carnage Giant gets to run down Tef here, which is great for us. You're still holding up Absorb. I wonder if I was supposed to keep that third treasure map. Artillacon, thank you for the entire year of support. I really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Phoenix is an excellent draw. So now the question comes down to, do I want Phoenix or Karn to get absorbed? Is it crazy to think I'd rather get Phoenix absorbed here than Karn? Is that, is that silly? Like, they're kind of drawing to Kaya's Wrath anyways, and, like, Phoenix is worse, worse against Kaya's Wrath to, like, Wrath and to, like, cast down. I think, I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather Phoenix get countered here. Yeah, but I think there's a good chance they're going to have two counter spells here. So, like, if I look at these three cards and go, it's likely only one of them is going to resolve, I think second Karn is the card I would rather resolve. We're not that far behind at the moment. Right on. Let's skip to the Hopefully this is just draw card gain seven. Did you did you find the wrath? You did not. Wow, that's really good for us. Enjoy the Twitch dunk tank. <laughs> oh, that's that's actually probably pretty good, right? That's probably pretty good. I think I'm, I think I'm in for backup Carnage Charid. Let's 
Good pass. I wonder if they have an Eldest Reborn in their main deck. The fact that they, like, spent a Mortify on this Incubation Druid, like, feels to me like they could have an Eldest Reborn. Our Esper Control matchup is probably not bad with four Phoenixes and four Carnage Tyrants. I'm just going to go Karn into Karn here. Getting, getting through the absorbs also isn't, isn't the end of the world because it means like when they eventually draw Tefri, this could be more likely to resolve. He said as it was discarded from his hand. Um, we died to Is It Phoenix twice. That matchup did not seem good. So first, this is the first non Is It Phoenix deck we played against. God bless you, Karn. Karn. Karn is a landlord. Provides us with huge, huge tracts of land. Other lands we don't have to draw for the next two turns, thankfully. Another, another reason this matchup seems like it could be okay for us is the fact that, like, our deck, especially our main deck, doesn't really have a bunch of dead removal spells. Like, we're a mid-range deck, but we don't have, like, a bunch of cast downs and stuff. Like, I'm playing Assassin's Trophies and Contempts. Which gives us, gives us play that we otherwise wouldn't have in a lot of mid-range decks. Ooh! I've also got a giant grip full of Planeswalkers. God bless you, Karn. Just, you power through, big boy. You just, you just power us right on through here. How would you see your excitement levels of Spark is from the standpoint of an average set? I think War of the Sparks hype is, like, really high in all honesty. I'm really, I'm really kind of let down that this this mythic championship is modern and not standard. Seems like an awesome set for standard. They've taken they've taken the design space of planeswalkers and like cranked it up to a twelve. Seems very very good. The rest is wonderful. Eldest Reborn is good. Trophy's good. This Assassin's Trophy is out. I think I just cut Incubation Druid in this matchup. I really don't need to accelerate to my big plays ahead of time. I think there's 26 lands in this deck, right? Yeah, so I put these in here to accelerate against the faster and, like, mid-range decks. But I think against control, I just want a little bit higher threat density. I if it's crazy to cut Contempt in this matchup. It's probably crazy. I probably, probably just always want to be able to kill Tefri. This also, like, kills, uh... Kills what's it called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hostage taker. It's really, I really don't like to make predictions about what the format's going to look like until we know all the cards in the set. I will say with regards to red green, the new three mana Dumbry seems very good. Nah, my deck's like really mana hungry. So I think I think staying at 26 lands, especially with one being Memorial to Folly, is fine. I like maybe make an argument that this mountain could go, but I think 49 out of 25 might be loose. Assassin's Trophy and Contempt dealing with Thief of Sanity is also a big deal. The, the duress on the Tefri there is good for us because if the if they had a Tefri, this Assassin's Trophy ramps them into it a turn sooner, which kind of sucks. Huh? Uh, 
this. This game's probably over. Next turn, I get to duress them and then carnage two cards out of their hand. Like, they only have five cards left. I'm going to take three of them away next turn. <laughs> They're just conceding to the unanswered card. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Too much. Too much carnage. They didn't even know. They didn't even know, champ. Steady as she goes. Oh, I forgot to check the forgot to check the rewards. They, they were ghosting and they knew. Maybe. I don't know. I think ghosting happens far less often than a lot of uh, than a lot of people like to make it out to be. Poor poor Dragon Skull Summit. Dragon Skull Summit and Hinterland Harbor, just like nobody loves them. The big thing, and this is this is really subtle. So, like, a lot of people have been talking about new Bolas being good for Grixis. I actually think new Ugin is a really big deal for Grixis. Because the new Ugin is going to give Grixis a tool to deal with, um... It's going to give new Grixis a tool to deal with their, uh... Their, what's it called? Enchantments. Yeah, I agree. And if the fact that we're, like, not directly gambling dollars on every match like we do on Magic Online, I think changes the dynamic a good bit. I think I'd rather Phoenix before I Carnage here. Looks like they're playing Warriors. Warriors, come out and play. Oh, you know what? There's no copies of Lava Coil in my 75, are there? That's probably a mistake, huh? How did I miss that? So this was a build around deck submission. So I put I put the details together. Yeah, there should definitely be some some coils in my 75. I don't know. I have a bunch of cries and Vraska's contempt, but yeah, these these cast downs should probably be lava coils. It's going to be collision into Whirly Boy. That's unfortunate. If I hit an untapped land next turn, this Carnage Iron is just like way bigger than the board, which would be great. That's super unfortunate. It's possible I'm just supposed to cast down here because like if they have another removal spell, I take a, lo I take a big tempo hit here. Wow, they just have nothing. Nothing is really good for us. Defense. Defense. Roar! Who's the biggest, dumbest green red deck around? That'd be that'd be that'd be this guy right here. Thunk. What on God's green earth is in their hand? Is their hand just like a pile of shocks or something here? Or like collision colossuses or like what? What's going on? I guess Curl Harpooner is a card they could reasonably have. Do 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 do. It's another Whirly Boy now. I'd like to draw an untapped land next turn so I can go Angrath into cast down. Yeah, especially against uh, against an opposing rekindling phoenix deck here. Really wish I had access to some lava coils. It's another matchup where Carnival Carnage isn't very good. I think I might trim some of these from the 75. We've played a few games with them and they're like, okay. I'm going to keep some in, but I think I think I might cut this down to like a two of and cut this and put three three coils in the main. I think it's about where I'd like to be after playing some matches with this. Like it's definitely okay in some places, but we've had a lot of matches where it's not good. This seems fine-ish. I don't think Cry is good enough here. I don't think Moment of Craving is particularly great either. 
It's another matchup where, again, the Lava Coils I was talking about will be very good. So, like, my opponent's deck, like, has a pseudo-aggressive slam, but there's a lot of games like that last where they just, like, kind of don't do anything for a little while. Which I think makes keeping a hand like this okay. That being said, this is going to be a light growth chamber run to run me down. I'll just curl harpooner, deal. No hasty threat here is real good for us. I assume I'm taking seven next turn. Yep. And the question will be like, can these Carnage Sirens stabilize me from ten? Really need to draw a spell that I can play on turn five. I don't, if I don't have a play next turn, it's probably not going to be good enough, because they're going to get me down to, like, eight to, six to eight. Which is really scary. Frasca's Contempt. Frasca's Contempt. I think the, I think the, the bird is the word, and we are going to die. The phoenixes, the phoenixes have claimed the territory. Yeah. Like the decisions the opponents made that game. I mean, I did keep a hand that was, like, a little speculative. Yeah, I'm happy if I boarded. Let's run it back. Run it back now, y'all. The six spell hands always look so good, right? It's like, all these spells are wonderful. I think it's fine. Not amazing, but fine. I think I'm going to bottom that, dig for a third land here. Hopefully this Incubation Druid gets cast on, gets cast on two and lives. If they just play, like, a two-drop here and we get to untap and play Karn, that would be very, very good for us. Did they leave in Shock against me? I guess they could have left in Lightning Strike or Lava Coil. They definitely left in Lava Coil because they saw Phoenix. So if they have Coil, this might eat it. That is great for us. Ooh, that's a good one, too. And then Karn likes to practice drawing huge tracts of land, which is exactly what this hand needs. So let's do it. If they have a Collision Colossus here, they can Colossus their Growth Chamber Guardian to kill Karn. But then I get to untap an Angrath kill the Growth Chamber Guardian, which is appealing. Ooh, that's really good. I think I'm going up again. How do we feel about block plus adapt? I think I like block plus adapt. Okay. Okay. 
grab cast down here. Kill the dork. I want to get treasure map going. Yeah, use the use the form, Geoff. I never never say yes or no. A lot of times, especially with new cards, I have to like look up cards to confirm that they do what I think they do. So, form just helps me stay organized too. That's yeah, probably good enough to keep. I think I'm Angrath down ticking here. I guess the down the downside to Angrath down ticking is that Chain Whirler kills Angrath. You're just fuel for your crew for my <laughs> Memes are always on the menu here, just James. Cast a Phoenix. Pretend you have a chance. They don't. If they don't take one of these planeswalkers off the table, this game is over. Yeah. Sure. Why not? No fire. No steel. Always want to make them make choices like what they want to discard before they know we're dealing with their Phoenix. Yeah, talking like that's that'll be it'll be good television too, right? Like that's something that a lot of people are interested in. So we'll get some clicks. Tend to have like an okay grasp on what what constitutes good television. Jerry Roo, thanks for the ten months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Nothing, nothing but professionalism here, chat. No fire. Everybody, nobody, nobody panic. It's fine. We've got this. Got this on lock. This is not where memes go to die. It's where they are born. Ain't that the truth? Opponent put up quite the fight there. Look at that. Almost back to diamond one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I want to get some lava coils in here. Check the seasonal rewards too. Are they? Seasonal rewards. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it doesn't actually show what they are. It just shows that there's... It just shows that there's foil cards. Got it? Two, two card styles. You get to get to plat four if you want both card styles. I think I want three of these. I'm gonna go down to two of these and trim a cast down as well. I like that. Any chance of being on the Twitch front page again? I don't know. You know, I should probably email my rep and ask about that. It's been a hot second now. Not sure what the deal is for getting in the rotation to get a, an extended stay. I've actually been on the front page off and on because, like, there's a, there's a small pool of partners who make safe for work. Who make safe for work um, content. So, like, I randomly get put up there, but it's, like, hard to, like, sell myself extra and, like, talk like I'm talking to new Magic players because I don't know when I randomly get put on there. When's the season over? End of the month. All of all the seasons in Arena are one month long. Would you recommend Gates or Mono Blue for climbing? Probably Mono Blue from a from a the pure perspective of this wins quickly. Double trophy in the opener is a little bit loose in a couple matchups in this game in this format because it like gets them to their stuff sooner. It's like another Phoenix matchup. Please don't be another Phoenix deck. Yay! Pro 
Probably not a Phoenix deck. Die. I guess I guess they could be Jeskai Phoenix. That's a thing people have done before. Carnage Chariot, not foil. Is, is this card available in foil? It might be. Actually uncertain. That is a great draw because it guarantees my second red. It also gets me closer to windmilling this. If they're just guy control, the four carnage tyrants are probably going to do the Lord's work. Card's real good in this matchup. Start with this. See where we go. They probably play Lava Coil. Here are some bits to foil green Barty. Sounds good. We'll check it out. Thanks for the support, Captain Command. You need to take a time out. All right. I think I... I think I actually just carnival... And like hold these trophies for future future Tefries. Or like Niv Mizzets. They're like one card away from Niv Mizzet here. One land away from Niv Mizzet. Clary on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are gone. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. And if Carnage Tyrant gets swept away, then they're tapped out and I can stick like Phoenix or Karn. I'm going to play this one because they know about it. That being said, they could, because they know about this, be holding the Cleansing Nova till I restick the Rekindling Phoenix. They could have like Nova plus Shivan Fire here. Ooh. I was going to say, maybe I should have Essence Trophy my own thing there, but that's actually not a legal play. I can't trophy my own thing. Well, this successfully buys the Matured. Because they're at eight. Oh, you know, I wonder I wonder if they have spell peers. If they're playing anything like the Just Kai Nip deck we played on stream a little bit, they could be have spell peers. Yikes. Okay. Alright. Alright. As you, as you will. I think they're, I think they're playing Just Kai Niv. Maybe they watch the stream chat. I mean, even with two blocks here, they're dead. They're dead in two attacks, so. Yeah, it could have Croaker, but I think that's that's way too aggressive. I don't, I don't think there's a reason, there's a necessary reason for me to be that aggressive.
Did you? Huh? How do I... I want to board here. So, like, Lava Coil's really good against their Phoenix. But like, I have Contempt there as well for that. It's hard to know exactly how many Phoenix they're playing also. I think this is another Incubation Druid out matchup. Is it crazy to cut my own phoenixes here just to, like, sidestep their lava coils? Hey, Caper. Thanks for continuing your sub-gift. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. I wonder, I wonder if it's nuts to just trim my own phoenixes here. Just, like, gain virtual card advantage. We don't we don't kink shame here, Matt. Can't, I can't cut all of them, which is a little awkward. I'm just leaving like a miser incubation dread. I don't know. This might be this might be too cheeky. It could also be that, like, because my opponent's deck likely has Sarkin in it, that, like, leaving them stranded with cards isn't as useful because they have a way to filter through them. Daddy Dino's home, chat. Daddy Dino is home. Take take your jank glue. <clears throat> Twelve months, Stephen Douglas. Thank you for the entire year of support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Let's get a let's get a sword with that shield, shall we? Reach Mythic last weekend. To be honest, it wouldn't be possible without your teachings. Thanks and keep up the great good content. Thanks for the support, Caper. Congrats on making it to Mythic. I think I'm in the market for a second map here. I think that just seems reasonable for us. And then the question becomes, do I want to hammer on these maps to flip them ASAP, or do I want to just get Karn down next turn? I think I might just want to get Karn down next turn. Just, like, start accruing actual card advantage. Because, like, these will draw three cards eventually, but, like, Karn draws a card every turn he sits in play. So I think I think getting my Karn advantage going ASAP is ideal here. Like, these are always worth three cards. This is worth a card sooner, if I get him down sooner. An excellent choice. Huge tracks of land. So my opponent's going to start drawing lots of cards, but like, I already have lots of cards, so we're going to have quite the slugfest here. Based on the fact that they have like, Lava Coils and Deafening Clarions in their deck though, I think our average card draw is probably going to be a bit better than theirs. Especially since we have, like, Trophy and Exile over here already, and, like, Eldest Reborn also to, like, keep their Tefries off the table and their other high power cards. I didn't bother trophying either of these codes because they have two, so they're going to be able to get this going regardless. 
that's potentially very scary. Although I get I get a lot of looks here at ways to ways to solve this. Sometimes one looks all you need. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on top again. I just wanna wanna get a counter on this other treasure map. They could draw a counter spell here. Yeah, they get one shot at a counter spell. Keep heading on up with Karn here. I'm going to play the Dragon Skull Summit here because I want to activate both of these next turn again so I can get them flipped over ASAP. And any, any constant stream of card advantage my opponent's going to be able to deploy, whether it be like a Niv or a Tefri, between this Eldest Reborn and like the Contempt and the Trophy over here, we should be good to go. Probably going to start, now that there's two good cards over there, I'm going to down tick card next turn, I think, and grab one of them. Any theory on why they would keep Clarion in? They could have like double Clarion as a way to deal with Carnage Tyrant, potentially. Could see that being reasonable. It's like they're kind of they're kind of low on ways to deal with Carnage Tyrant. I think I'm in for another map. This game this game is probably not ending anytime soon. Why not start making seven sevens? That's probably not a terrible suggestion. I assume they're gonna have Nagits and Disdainful Strokes in post board. Oh, I tapped my treasure cove. That might have been a mistake. I also didn't leave green up. Yeah, the way the way I tapped my lands was a little bit loose there. Should have paid more attention. Alright, the fact that this resolved means their Niv Mizzet didn't draw any cards, which is great, because it means one of their sources of card advantage just didn't accrue card advantage. Would like Assassin's Trophy for the sake of resource efficiency. Uh, I'm going to sh shock in the land that they know about here. I'm going to play treasure map out. Hey, psychologist. Thank you for the... Thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. I appreciate you keeping me here. Hope you're having a fan fantabulous Tuesday. Eldest, Eldest Reborn will give them something to do with these otherwise dead cards. I think I'm going to activate this treasure map without counters on it at end of turn because this one I can kind of flip at will. I want to start piling this one up. Who are you? Call Don't doubt my methods. Gotta lurk so I can work. Sounds good, Captain Command. I think I'm just in for the mono, mono dinos game plan. And I kind of think that I don't want to start making 7-7s seven just yet because they should have some number of Cleansing Nova post board and they kind of need to Nova the Carnage Tyrant. And like, I'm going to get a Niv next turn too. So I think I want the Karn 1-1s one -ones to exist after that. If they have Expansion Explosion in their deck, we could be in trouble here. They could also like play a Niv and cast a bunch of spells in the same turn, which could be not ideal. Kind of surprised we didn't see Sarkin make mana for Niv here. wonder if their hand's not actually very good. I guess there's, I guess there's a chance their hand is kind of poop. 
Well, the fact that they're targeting Karn here bodes well for us, because it means their hand's not close to killing us anytime soon, which is great. Please stop! So I, I totally just get back their other Niv Mizzet, right? That's, think that's the game plan here. Uh, they don't have a Tefri. I'm gonna lead on Assassin's Trophy here, because this way if they have dive down, I'd rather they counter Assassin's Trophy than counter than counter my Vraska's Contempt. <laughs> oh, magic's a silly game. Bye, Felicia. Love tap, baby. Love tap, baby. Love tap. That's where it's at. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Chat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that's probably a little bit surprising to you all out there. I believe our four Carnage Tyrant mid-range deck is good against control. It's the, it's the conclusion I'm arriving at here. As we as we play games, I believe I am concluding that the four Carnage Tyrant deck is good against control. Hot hot takes. <laughs> right? It's a carnival. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. So this puts them to nine, which means the two damage from Angrath kills them next turn, which is nice. Whew. I was like, oh no, what if they destroy my artifacts? Thankfully, thankfully they were dead on board, so they had to kill, had to kill my dino. No steel. Grrr. Big dumb dinos. Boom, 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 boom. Hear me roar. Oh, I could have killed him. I did miss lethal. Angrath, Angrath can give your own creatures haste, chat. Angrath, Angrath can give your own creatures haste. That is a great catch with that line.
My life's like a diamond. Bom 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 bom. That was that was one of the first possibility storms that we did. Was uh one that involved using our Angrath to haste our own creature. Uh, is there a foil carnage tyrant? There is a foil carnage tyrant. Shout outs to Captain Command for the foil carnage tyrant biddies. I don't want to play one more with this. I want to play one more. I'm going to play one more before I move on to Soul Side Control. This is my my deck of the day so far. I've enjoyed what we have going on here. You can't target Carnage Tyrant with Angrath. You can, because Carnage Tyrant is busted and hexproof, not, not Shroud. We go first. All right. The sand needs a black source, but it's like pretty good if it finds one. How would this deck do against mono red stuff? I have no idea. Probably tough game one with the current configuration, but you could probably drag it around post board to be okay. Like we got moment of cravings and stuff out of the side. Land, land. All right. I mean that technically qualifies as land. It's the one. It's the only tapped land in our deck. So of course, of course that's a better than better than missing. I suppose. Let's not, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth, I guess. You didn't spe specify untapped land. Why are you mad at it? That's true. That's true. I, I asked and it delivered. It's a genie in a bottle, baby. It's gonna, gonna, gonna screw with you. Do, 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 Thanks, Crane. Yeah, I, I agree. Magic's, magic's more fun when you approach it with a positive outlook. At least in my experience. Yeah, I've been there, you know, when like, when you, when you like, you know, you're good at something, it feels, it feels like, it feels personal in a way when you get your, your, when you're like tying your self-worth into your Magic the Gathering matches, it's just like a bad place to be overall. I could trophy this and it technically puts them down two mana, but I think I'd rather save this for one of their payoffs. This is a little bit worse against if they have, like, finality here. Like, if they finality me, I'm going to be real sad. Arena grants monkey polishes, exactly. I think this attack represents a... Represents a, uh, a finality, so I'm not going to block. Took first place by a bit. Chip in a chair, chip in a chair. <laughs> the final countdown. <laughs> No, it might have been right to kill this. It might have been right to kill this. <sighs> I'm 
It's just too big. It's got to go. Have a good night, Deep Prince. Catch you tomorrow, hopefully. Hope you have a good one. It's an, it's an easy time in the season to be at the top of the bit leaderboard. Hype, hype is low. This, uh, this the old, the old 5-5 five, five draw two. Yep. Unfortunately, I think we're done here. Like, this is one of those, like, the game's not going to end for, like, I don't know, a dozen more turns, but we're too far behind at this point, so. Don't discredit my ad bits. <laughs> Thanks for the ad bit he's kept in. This is probably not a Lava Coil matchup. I think this is another match where I just, like, don't... Like, I know... I know I just lost that game to not having lands, but, like, there's 26 lands in my deck, and I think with Boarding and Ritual of Soot here, I think I want to cut my Incubation Druids. It's like, as the, as the game goes long, I want the average card that's coming off the top of my deck to be a little bit higher power level than, like, an O2. Does Finality fizzle the target dice? It doesn't. And the way you can know that is if you read the wording on Finality, Finality doesn't actually target. It asks you to make a choice as the card resolves. So the little, little details and like the nuance of how the cards are worded dictate things like that. Wonder if we'll see them keep this trophy to tag my treasure map here. I guess I also have Angrath that they know about. They could, they could be stuck on lands here. <laughs> Zesty, thanks for the tip. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Bottoming, bottoming this fifth land might have been a little greedy.
that sounds perfect. Because then this makes me burn it. I have to burn a treasure to cast this this turn. But then next turn, the treasure cove is flipped over. So I'm going to be able to uh, be able to Eldest Reborn in Angrath here. Without uh, sacrificing treasures. I think I want to just Eldest Reborn next turn. Just like keep the board clean. I guess I don't want to draw right away with that because if I draw a spell, I don't want to give them more choices if they duress me. Hey, Roscoe. Life is life is well. We're at kind of a we're at a very slow point during the magic cycle. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are spent on this current standard format. We're just waiting for the new set to drop next week, but. And that life is wonderful. Christy and I uh, took took a weekend away last weekend, so that was nice. Left the kids with the grandparents. One more one more week or so of the current standard format. We're gonna play a bunch of modern next week while uh, while the popularity is down. Eldest Reborn is is pretty reasonable. You are not wrong. Honestly, losing my Phoenix here isn't that big of a deal because it means they're likely just going to play a land tapped and pass and then I'm going to get to play Angrath and steal their Jade Light and then I have Eldest Reborn and a Planeswalker on an empty board. Just like, really, really good spot to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw with this before passing their turn, so I could draw a land I want to put into play tapped. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, the they did an A plus job with the with the details on the uh, on the full art cards. Carney Carney foiled is is real good. Impeccable death dino. So this is probably going to just get Karn back. It's Karn or Jade Light Ranger. All right. Karn, Karn's the only option. Got it. Get it. Got it. Good. Angrath gets to start hammering their hands here. Carnage Tyrant comes down. They think they bumbled long enough that we're going to be able to lock this up pretty easily. There's still a home for that card. Maybe? I don't know. Fire, no steel. Yeah. The five drop slot's just super clogged, right? There's just so many good bombs you can play in this format. Yes, bunny. And then hopefully they play out more Jade Light Rangers and stuff this turn. They get cleaned out by Ritual Asset. It's a bit of a yikes. How many degrees is the angle of grace? Well. No fire. No steel. And we both we both have memorials in play here. I'm gonna go grab my Phoenix that's in exile. This insulates me against an opposing Eldest Reborn, which is nice. It also means their Jade Light Ranger can't slog into one of my Planeswalkers here. Yeah, you're just like checking out the territory here. Carnage, Carnage Tyrant's a lot like Charmagoyf in that the best answer to an opposing Carnage Tyrant is your own Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> I agree, Crane. Definitely... Definitely feeling okay about our position at the moment. Yikes! Yikes! All right, had to had to open my mouth and shove my foot in, didn't I? Had had to open my mouth and shove my foot in. Well, all right, all right. So if they give us the carnage, we get to clear out their entire hand. 
And now, like, oh, double Phoenix does does trade into a Carnage Chariot here, potentially. Obviously, spot removal spells can make that go a little weary, but... Well, all right, I guess I should say. I would pick the one with two card <laughs> Traitor! <laughs> Cousin Vin! Thanks for the 17 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. And Ronan Bang, thank you for the three-month three subscription. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The final countdown. Do -do 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 -do. Am I supposed to Vraska's Contempt here? So, one of these is going to be a three, the other one's going to be a five. I don't need to gain life then, right? I don't have to. I guess I just let this resolve. I get, I get some eggs. So I'm going to take five plus one here. Oh, they do just die on the backswing, don't they? Didn't need to keep Kearney alive and Grath killed. I'm aware I was sending a message. It was about it was about delivering a strong message. All right, I think on the draw, I want these lava coils and not these carnival carnages because I want to want to like stunt their initial aggression. This can like these like kill carnival kills. Explore creature in response to the trigger, but it requires leaving mana up, which makes, like, treasure map worse. Can't send a horse head through the client, so you gotta send messages in a creative way. <laughs> All right, this hand is susceptible to just getting run over. This hand is susceptible to just getting run over. If they have a super fast start full of explore creatures, we're going to die. Yikes! Yikes! I'd keep it again, chat. I'd keep it again. Uh, so, huh, this is actually an interesting point. I should have led on Woodland Cemetery. Because the only basic in my deck is Mountain, which means statistically speaking, I am slightly more likely to find a land that brings this into play untapped than a land that brings this into play untapped. So it's super marginal, but if we would have played to that marginal out, we would have hit here. Because like currently, currently both of these, both of these are coming into play tapped. Blood Crypt it is, sign me up. That's the part where they slam Vivian and make me cry. I think I decline scrying next turn and jam rekindling Phoenix. I'm going to stop just in case they do something that changes my mind on that. But I think it's land rekindling Phoenix this turn. I suppose if they pass with four up, it like signifies Vraska's contempt. If they're not passing with four up, playing Rekindling Phoenix is pretty appealing. More, more Lava Quills is good against Hostage Taker too. Woof. Going to nine here on this attack. Yeah, I think we're dead. Yeah. 
So I can cast my own Carnage Tyrant next turn. I think it's going to be too little too late, though. We're dead dead to a removal spell here. So I can't, can't beat anything. Yep. That was tough. Like I said, that hand was a little bit speculative because it had a bunch of tap lands and then they had one of their, their faster starts here. We were actually pretty fortunate in the fact that this didn't hit spells and they ended up, they ended up only being a 2-1, but still ultimately a little bit too slow to beat the turn 5 Carnage Tyrant. It's one of the more aggressive starts our opponent deck could muster up. All things considered, I was pretty happy with where we ended up here. I think while the initial build around was Carnage, Karn, and Carnage Tyrant, I don't think this card's well enough positioned to be a 4 of. Um, the couple of copies that we had were good in different places. We notably didn't get to play against any copies of like blue, white, or red aggro with this deck, which I think those are matchups where the carnival half of this card is like pretty reasonable. We dumpstered both Esper and Jeskai Control, which isn't really surprising to me when you consider the fact that like I have Rekindling Phoenix, I have Carnage Tyrant, I have like Contempt and Trophy and like all these other forms of card advantage. So I think, uh... I think overall, if you're looking at something that's sweet, especially if you're looking at something that dumpsters Esper control, this is probably a decent choice. I also think the fact that, like, we have trophies and, like, Vraska and stuff like that probably gives this deck a decent shot against Reclamation decks. We're going to go ahead and move on to the last deck of the day.